Hello once again, welcome to Nalin Lip Vlog YouTube channel. Thank you for choosing my video tutorial and I guarantee you that you will learn from me. Today I'm going to share how to craft a left shift cumulative frequency or left shift ogee. And a right shift cumulative frequency or right shift ogee. If you didn't watch my previous video about the frequency distribution table, you can watch to my previous blog. In that blog, I discuss or share step by step how to get frequency, mark interval, class boundary, relative frequency, relative frequency percentage, left shift cumulative per frequency, and right shift cumulative frequency. So presenting to you the table of frequency distribution from my past blog. What I'm going to share to you is how to graph left shift cumulative frequency or left shift ogive and right shift cumulative frequency or right shift ogive. So what we need are the left shift cumulative frequency and right shift cumulative frequency and the upper and lower class boundary of each class. In left shift cumulative frequency, we need the left shift cumulative frequency numbers correspond to the upper boundary in our frequency distribution table table in left shift cumulative frequency we need the left shift cumulative frequency numbers correspond to the upper boundary in our frequency distribution table right shift cumulative frequency is a vice versa we need the right shift cumulative frequency numbers correspond to the lower boundary in our frequency distribution table. Here is the prepared example graph. So the vertical line is represent the left shift cumulative frequency and the right shift cumulative frequency. While the horizontal line is represent the lower and upper limit of the class boundary so our color legend black is for left shift cumulative frequency while the blue is the right shift cumulative frequency so let's start to the left shift cumulative frequency which is the upper limit of each class versus the left shift cumulative frequency. So in a class 1, the upper limit boundary is 61.5 has 12 frequency. So it's here. And 71.5 has a 23 frequency if you want to do it by yourself or you are going you want to try it by yourself you can post the video and you and try to do and just stop again later to check your answer so 81.5 has 32 frequency so 91.5 has 39 so 101.5 has 50 so next is we are going to connect so we start from here going to the up should be like that so this is the left shape cumulative frequency or left shift or give 
So next is the right shift cumulative frequency, which is the lower limit of the class each class boundary versus the greater or the right shift cumulative frequency. So let's start to the 50.5, the lower limit of the first class has a 50. 60.5 has 38. So be sure we you align to the line of 60.5 has 38. So here. And 70.5 has 27. Here. 80.5 has 18. Here. 90.5 has 11. So now let's connect the dot. Start from the up going down. So it's look like this. It is opposite. So this is right chip cumulative frequency or right chip OK. So that is the different. The left chip cumulative frequency is going up while the right chip cumulative frequency is going down. So that's the end of my sharing to you. Hope that you learn from me. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Press all bell for you to be updated in my next vlog. And also, Nalin Lim Vlog YouTube channel had uploaded also some of a Christian songs with lyrics and chords that can help you to learn how to play a guitar with the chords. If you are a beginner, it is easy for you to follow. Thank you and God bless.